Hello everyone, I hope you're all doing very well. Today we're in the FA18C Hornet. It's April 2021 20, and we've got a new harm mode. It's the harm pullback mode and it's a really exciting mode. To show it off, we've got the scenario. We are an F18, we're going in for a fast low strike against some tanks. In this particular scenario on the island is an SA8. We're going to run this scenario three times. Once with pullback, once without pullback and once without pullback with multiple SAMs. So to turn pullback on, on our screen here, and this could be several of the different screens. So for instance, it could be the SMS page written here as self-protect harm override. If it's boxed, pullback is on. Also, if I went to my Maverick screen, so air to ground mode, Maverick, the same thing is on there. So let's just run this through. It's the, probably the best way to explain it. Here we go. We're just going to fly and try and put this Maverick on a tank near the runway. So assign TDC to left screen there. I'm going to uncage. I'm going to speed up. I'm going to start slewing the Maverick sensor down. Let's try and find a bad guy. Let's hope we don't get locked up by a SAM. And we have pause for plenty of talking time. The RWR has detected that this SAA OSA has locked us up and is preparing to fire. Because we have pullback enabled, i.e. harm override boxed here, pullback PLBK shows here. This prohibits the immediate snapshot of a harm, which obviously I've got equipped on my aircraft at the moment, at the priority threat, which in this case is obviously the OSA. If I try to press weapon release now, it shares harm with a cross through it. So I cannot do that snapshot. In this case, I'm going to unpause. I'm going to carry on with the mission anyway. And I'm going to try and lock my Maverick onto one of the bad guys. I think it's those set of guys there. Got it. Maverick away. The guy's fired at me. And I'm getting the heck out of there. So that was a typical example of how we can use pullback or harm override to prevent the firing of a harm in self-protect mode. Let's run exactly the same thing through again but without pullback. Head to ground. Uh, we're going to go and shoot our Maverick. Again, we're not setting up anything to do with the harm. It's all done automatically in the background. That's it. We're going to sign our TDC. We're going to uncage here. This time we're going to turn our pullback off, if you like. Turn our uh, harm override off, which is going to allow a harm snapshot at a priority target. So I'm going to be busy manipulating my Maverick when suddenly he locks me again. This time it says harm in the middle rather than pullback, and there is not a cross. This means that if I press weapon release now, a harm will be sent out in self-protection mode against that target. So let's press the button. Whee! Off he goes. At this point, I can either turn around and run away, which is probably the right thing to do, or I can be silly and carry on engaging, which of course is what I'm going to do. So I'm going to silence that uh, guy with my harm while I busy myself looking for these Challenger tanks. can be difficult to lock at this kind of range. Got him! <laughs> Rifle. <laughs> I've never actually seen that before. What actually happened there, if you saw two missiles coming out, the first was the rifle, which was the Maverick, which went for the correct Maverick target. But because I had extra harms on this aircraft, which I'm going to use in the next example, it also shot a harm. I could cut that out and make this video look more clinical, but that's actually quite a good example of what's possible. So I'm going to unpause and just continue through. And I'm probably not even going to dodge that missile because I know that by the time that um, it's going to be any threat, my initial harm would have killed it anyway. And uh, we can just watch our rifle go in if it's still in the air. And that's our second harm that we fired by accident. And it's going to go in and take the challenger out. So that's an example how we can remove pullback by removing the harm override box, allowing us to fire a snapshot of an AGM 88C in self protect mode at a priority target. Now, the third example is, of course, the most exciting. The baddies have got two extra SAMs, so three threat SAMs now. Let's go. Do our bombing mission, air to ground. Uh, Maverick, whoops, Maverick again. We're going to turn off our home override, remove our pullback. We are going to assign TDC. We're going to uncage. We're going to start looking for a target. Oh, dearie me, we've got multiple threats. We've got three times SEA OSAs, and they are all locking us because we have a pullback removed. We have harm here, and we can fire a harm. It just so happens we've got three harms, which is very convenient, as you're about to see. But what we can also do is cycle 
between the different arms if that we want to send our snapshot on we'll use raid button there so press the raid button look we can cycle between them pretty awesome right if we select one that is not considered the priority threat we can go back to the priority threat with the reset function to do that we press cage on cage button and what that's done is it's reset the harm to fire at what's considered the priority threat probably the closest one but i don't really know how it works one small annoying thing is that the pressing the cage on case also affected my maverick so i need to re-cage or re-uncage to set my maverick uh, uh, back in play so what i'm going to do this case is because i do not have pullback engage just fire three arms off and pause fire raid fire raid fire continue like nothing's happened and i'm gonna go and use my uh my doodly what's it my rifle now try and find the tanks all the problems locking onto these challenges so there we go look and there's a rifle and what we should see is a lovely cacophony of three sam oh, the sams are out but i'm not gonna worry because one's dead two's dead and three's dead no threat and the rifle should be on its way so that shows how we can use the pullback to prohibit the firing of an AGM-88 and carry on with our mission, the override if you like, or not have it overridden and have the ability to snapshot self-protect AGM-88s up to, well, I guess three times if you're going to carry three AGM-88s. I hope that was useful and see you later.